Sunday. Day seven. It's finally Sunday. First week of Beacon has flown, huh? I got kind of glad I did though. Between what happened on Sunday. You know what, I'm gonna try and not read these so much because I feel like I just get through everything quick and these parts aren't as long. For the last time, you're not cooking breakfast! Carrots, get away from that door or I swear I'll... I'll sauté you! That's sauté. Alright. <laughs> Alright, except the reason I woke up in the first place. Yep, they're at it again. Listen, if you were just cooking for yourself, I wouldn't mind. But I won't let you poison Mark. I just want to make him something to thank him for. Why am I even discussing this with you? <laughs> you get out of the way already. Could you both please calm down? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, time out already. Thank you. Now, first of all, good morning. Second, are you seriously physically... Barring Jack access to the kitchen, Evelyn. Well, well, yes! I'm doing it to protect you! Holy hell, Evelyn, I need protection from food now. No, you bloody don't! Yes, he does! Can't we just let Mark be the judge of that? Excellent point, Penny. Capital idea, Penny. I support that motion. You can't be serious. You actually want to try her cooking? If having a third option will stop all this, yes. Ah, in your face, carrots. Then I'm cooking too. What? <laughs> uh, you'll need something to watch the taste of death before after when you finish. Oh, a cooking contest. A, a nice idea. No, no, no. That's a terrible idea. Ugh. Fine, you're on carrots. You, me, and the kitchen. I'm calling this part the Great Remnant Cook. Uh, Great Remnant Bake Off. Mark and I will be the judges. Don't say judges, there is no need for any. Uh... Yes, there is! Oh, for the love of. This should be something you both know the recipe of. Uh, uh, Stock so ingredients for. Uh, go into the kitchen and check and let Mark wash up and dress. Fine. Fine. So not fine. I like that boat in the background for some reason. There's a sewing machine on a laptop. I'm just noticing stuff in the background. Back to the main room. Door opens and Penny comes out. So, how are things? With Jack and Evelyn? Well... <laughs> hey, watch your elbow, carrots! Why don't you give me more space instead? Because I need to... Are you doing this on purpose? You're too damn close, doesn't it? Okay, trying to read this. My ear, you... Oh, I'm... S you have on stilts. What did you call me, carrot poops? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how much I love the dialogue of this game after a while. Oh, it's on. It's going great. <laughs> I feel like they're really making some progress. In killing each other, you mean? There's a zero point... <laughs> zero percent chance of that happening. The most probable outcome is they'll finally be able to express their grievances in full once and for all. What exactly are they making anyway? Pancakes. What kind of pancake recipe needs all those noises? Uh, Penny, we're kind of done. <laughs> Fantastic. But we're a 
Could you ask Mark to step outside to the balcony? We need to hit the bathroom. <laughs> Already there! <laughs> yeah, he's just like... Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> After about 30 minutes, they leave in different gloves. Fair enough. Uh, two plates uh, with three pancakes on top of each other. Uh, presentation wise, both pretty great. Well cooked, not burned, with whipped cream and maple syrup. Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, it's a side two glasses filled with milk. Yep. Now comes the most difficult part. I realize that's being a nice taste the side of the desk. The taste test. So, what am I tasting first? You can't know that. There's a small chance that knowing beforehand may influence your judging. And we'll drink milk in between tasting uh, to cleanse our palate. Good thinking. We want my victory to be sure and your loss to be uh, gracious after all, carrots. In your dreams, blondie. Let's get this started. One by each, Mark, then we'll switch plates. Sounds like a plan. Hey, there's a box with my weapon. I stare at the plate in front of me, swallowing loudly, <laughs> and grab some knife for a piece of the tower of pancakes. Man, really descriptive of just eating pancakes, isn't it? I'll bring it to my mouth. Chew, chew, and chew. Hmm. This is actually good. Oh, thank goodness. Hmm. Benny doesn't seem to have any particular reaction to around pancakes either. I'm saved. Everyone was wrong about Jack's cooking after all. Shall we change? Yeah. I finished tasting too. Drink half the glass more slowly, uh, washing my mouth from the uh, taste for second pancakes. I'm actually looking forward to the second one. I cut a big piece to fit in cream and syrup, and then. Oh, what the hell? My eyes go. Why had only some <laughs> hidden well of willpower prevents me from spitting the pancakes out? God, it's horrendous! It tastes like it should be pancakes. The texture is there. I can detect hints of a, its noble soul. But then something came and corrupted it, prevented it beyond belief, turned it into this abomination, offense to the heavens. Slowly, ever so slowly, I feel that the corruption made us fuse and turn me into a soulless husk. I push this abominable dark matter past my taste buds and... Ooh. Oh god. What the hell was that? Oh goodness, you two alright? Forever? I want to shove it. So uh, worry aimed at me in particular. I surmise this was Jack Stack. <laughs> of course they are. My cooking is perfectly fine. It's not, partner. I'm sorry, but it's really not. So who won? Evelyn. Right out the bat, just Evelyn. Penny. Ate <laughs> Damn, Penny. <laughs> really blunt. What? What do you mean she won? I'm 100% positive that Mark agrees. Oh, Penny, easy. That, that's impossible. For the love of pancakes, Jack, are you really that deluded? I can't believe your tongue is so far gone. You have to know how bad your cooking is. Alright. Out of the side, it's really, really bad. But, but it was my mother's recipe. It's my mother's cooking. Oh, that's why she went and that's why she was so angry. Judging by Evelyn's face, she didn't know either. What? My mother, my mother always made the best meals for me and my sister and my dad. 
Everything she did always tasted wonderful. I know that exact feeling. My mom is the best cook. I always helped her in the kitchen. She taught me how to use so many things, and I followed her recipes to a T. So, even if they taste a little different, they can't be bad. Oh man, now I feel bad. I don't think this could be such an emotional thing for Jack. I'm not bad, Jack. Penny? But... But you said... Mark bearing the... T Mark bearing the taste? How were Jack's pancakes? Bearing the taste? Now that I think about it, they... They're actually very well made. I'm confused. <laughs> the thing is that the looks, the texture, the cooking, they're all great. They feel like they're supposed to be good, but there's something overpowering, the nauseating overtaste of, of cinnamon. The pancakes were overlaid uh, saturated with cinnamon. You mean I put too much cinnamon in the dish? And that's why they all came out tasting like crap? I think so, yes. But I'm sure I remember the quantities correctly. Jack, your family was from Vacuo, wasn't it? You know it was. Oh, I can't believe this. This was that simple. Everyone turns from my own under breath. She opens the door to the kitchen. <laughs> you cannot be serious! What is happening? I imagine so many people watching this are thinking that. She marches back into the main room, holds up an object in front of Jack's face, small plastic container with cinnamon written on it. Smell it! What? Now I see. See what? What's going on? <laughs> Smell it! I know you never did! Jack looks at Evelyn weirdly, but complies, opening the cup and smelling the powdered substance. Ugh! A <laughs> face. That's a disgust, almost dropping the container. Carrots, what the hell? What did you put in my cinnamon? This is your cinnamon! Mistral variety cinnamon! Cinnamon! Mistral variety? There are two varieties of cinnamon and remnant. Oh, it's Penny Reading, <laughs> sorry. Mistral variety and the vacuum variety. The first is more cinnamon and. more common in uh, Mistral and Vale, while the latter is more common in Aki. Like Vacuo and Atlas. <laughs> and the Mr. Variety is about six times more powerful than the Vacuo one. Six times? Are you are you serious? Bloody hell, no wonder whatever I cook tastes like crap. <laughs> I've been blasting poor stuff with cinnamon. Uh you real <laughs> I saw the. Oh, we could have. I'm sorry, let's. See. Or I've been more prone to accept criticism. You usually are. No, in family stuff, I'm not, and I'm sorry. It's not how a leader should act. It's okay. It's something you can work on, and hey! I doubt we're ever going to find ourselves having to deal with your family matters on missions. Ha! You're right! They're laughing! I can't believe they're laughing! <laughs> hey, Penny was right. Told you there was a high chance they would work this out. Well, yeah. It's lucky. Problem was simple to solve. Even if the problem has been more complicated, I had utmost confidence that <laughs> uh, we could work through it together. Because we're a team? Yes. I. I've never been in one, so I like the four of us to be good friends. And I'm sure they want to want it wanted to. And you do right, Mark. After that speech, it would be rude to say anything but yes, Penny. I chuckle and shake my head. Uh, glad that we have overcome this little ordeal. We've had deeper implications. And okay, yeah. Right now they are. There we go. 
And that's the Sunday event. That's what the cooking stuff was about. Oh. Our query is in Vale. Yep. I mean, police didn't find anything at the crash site, but they saw a meteor coming down from the sky. What else could it have been? But it could. It could be anything. Or anyone. She's got a point. If it had landed in the middle of the city, it would have been found only a needle in a haystack now. Well, maybe I'll let your mysteries man deem fit to share some of our wisdom with us today. Ah, <sighs> didn't think so. I guess I gotta do this old school. Need any help? If I do, I'll be sure to ask for it, boss. Let me try a couple routes first, though. You do that. Anyway, we'll see you in Vale in one week. Thanks for the trust. Over and out, guys. Who is this again? Stupid bitch making me lose. <laughs> so this time when she could just, just tell us. Okay, I have the Beholder. Hello loves, Tracer here. You've just watched a video by your only mate. Subscribe, like, comment and check out his other stuff. Cheers loves!